Well, Jim, speaking of paintings and pictures and things that capture blessed moments for families, I understand we have another moment in wrestling, maybe a milestone. Another moment, another, another, another trip by the stork. You know, I hope that stork's getting good mileage on whatever grain storks eat. These women in wrestling these days, they have impeccable timing. I mean, just impeccable timing. And I, is it a rule now that every woman that's involved in the most major thing that they've ever been involved in in their life should suddenly get pregnant? From whether it's Becky Lynch to, and we'll talk about Brandy in, in a minute, and now Lacey, Lacey Underalls in the WWE is pregnant. I think the bigger issue is an aversion to condoms that is now permeating the wrestling industry. Well, what the, what the, a, a, a pill once a day. Uh, let me go ahead and piss off many of the women and the what? I think you just did. Well, for fuck's sake. I mean, I take my vitamins. Um, let me, as I said, piss off not only the women in the audience, but also the feminine minded in the audience, because more men were upset when I was pissed off about Becky Lynch getting pregnant. Uh, because these these men these days are upset about if you say anything about their favorite girl wrestler. But come on, for fuck's sake, look at this from a business standpoint. I don't care whether anybody has kids. It's none of my business. But if I am the owner of a wrestling promotion and I sign you to a contract to be a professional wrestler for me, male or female... For a period of two years, I expect you, barring accidental injury, to be able to fulfill your part of the contract. And once again, I'm sorry, but injuries do happen. They are accidental. This is an on-purpose injury. This is an avoidable injury. This is a preventable injury. Either have kids or be a wrestler. This shit is booked out. Well, it's supposed to be booked out plenty ahead of time. It doesn't look like it anymore. But they have just turned Nature Boy Ric Flair, one of the most legendary figures in wrestling, against his daughter, Charlotte, one of the top stars in their company, to embroil Lacey Underalls in this angle. And this genius gets pregnant. And now I guess they're saying she's pregnant on the air because she's actually pregnant for real. So now I guess it's going to be Rick's. But good luck getting child support. Well, hey, now, come on. It, I, I, I guarantee you the blood test wouldn't match anyway. Uh, but what the... I, I do not understand how anybody... Why would you do this? Why would you have a... If, if you want to have children, alert your employers before you get into involved in one of the biggest angles of your of your life and and waste the turning of a legend and his daughter against each other and then oh she's going to be pregnant we'll make something out of it i i well there are accidental like, pregnancies say it's, say it's football say it's football whether well, there doesn't need to be because you if you are a professional athlete you make your living with your body and therefore, for the same reason that guys train and go to the gym and women train and go to the gym, that is a, a that's a preventive that will take you out of the game longer than breaking your leg. What if a football player was to show up at practice and say, well, coach, I can't play in the Super Bowl next week because I'm pregnant. It you do one or the other, but you can't do both. And if you're making commitments as a professional. You need to be able to fulfill your part of the fucking bargain. I questioned Becky Lynch's timing because she was making a fucking fortune. But I don't know that Lacey Underalls is making a fortune, but it sure did put a fucking crimp in their brilliant plan to turn Rick and Charlotte Flair against each other and make Rick look like a fucking simpleton because they couldn't fucking perform it to begin with. I don't know why they have to con continue to make him look like an idiot. But this certainly does not help. So if anybody's mad, because I, I say you need to honor your commitments and don't take yourself voluntarily out of the game with something that's preventable, or if you want to go in that direction and have 18 kids, then tell the fucking people before they put you in a goddamn long-term deal that you can't fulfill your part of. 
Is that unreasonable? I don't know about unreasonable, but I'm, I don't, first of all, with Becky Lynch, she was approaching an age where if she was going to have kids, she had to do it now. And she's already made a fortune. Okay, and well, and by the way, was she in the middle of a giant angle? I can't even remember. Uh, you know, I can't remember. She had just done it, the thing with Shayna Baszler biting her neck. Oh, God. Well, if she and wasn't she gave in the up the title of, to Asuka, but I don't Ah, remember. she gave up the title. Yes, that's right. So she was so, I don't have any sympathy. She should have planned this shit. But again, I don't have sympathy to, for WWE. WWE screws around talent, messes with people, a bad working environment. Every contract's a one-sided contract. They treat the talent like cattle. If you tell me that someone gets pregnant and it screws up their plans, good. I don't care. They don't put any care into the lives of the talent. Why should the talent put care into the company? They've made their money. Now they want to go home and have kids? Have fun. Go do it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm glad I never had to book you, you fucking locker room lawyer. Uh, here's the, <laughs> have we, do we know Lacey's made her money? But the point is, she's wasted... She's put Charlotte and, and Rick in a bad position. She's wasted a fucking deal that they could have done with somebody else. And by the way, she didn't put them in a bad position. WWE creative put them in a bad position with or without the pregnancy. Well, that's true. But okay, let's say, for example, that it's a nice company that treats everybody fairly. <laughs> I never, I've, at least I never had to fucking deal with anybody coming up and saying, well, I can't make the fucking town next week. I'm pregnant. But uh, no, if, if a nice company that treats its employees fairly pulled the trigger on a good angle with long-term booking, it was trying to elevate everybody. Would you change your story? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I definitely think that if you, if you're planning to have kids, you certainly have to inform the company. If you're not planning to have kids and the company has a lot riding on you and it's a company that treats you fairly and you have a great working relationship, then you probably should tell them you should probably maybe have some protection, either birth control or a condom or something. Well, I think that's both the same thing. Birth control and condom are well, the same. Pill, birth control pills or a condom or something, an IUD. I can name a whole bunch of things. But again, this is WWE. WWE who cuts talent. Oh, you're going back again? I'm just telling you. I'm just the guys, the guys used to take care of themselves for heaven's sake. Instead of fucking well, nevertheless. We're not going to agree on this. I feel if you're a professional athlete, you're making a commitment to the promoter for a specific period of time that you can fulfill your services. If you're taking the fucking money, don't bail in the middle because of shit that could be prevented. Is Lacey post- Evans oh. a professional athlete or a woman playing a role on TV? We're not talking about well, Mildred Burke here. Talking about Lacey okay. Evans. But then here that that's a bigger then that's a bigger picture issue because unfortunately, yes, she is a woman playing a role on television instead of being a professional wrestler, but she's claiming to be a professional wrestler. But Okay, let's just say, hypothetically, because I don't watch their show, so I don't know exactly what they're doing, so everything I say right now may be irrelevant. But if they announce that she's pregnant, because she's really pregnant, and they're trying to portray it like Rick is the father of that baby, which, boy, that man never learns his lesson. If that's what's going on, and she's not really known for her wrestling, no one goes, oh my god, that Lacey Evans match, you have to see it. No one says that. What if they have her on TV... Going forward, as the pregnant mistress of Ric Flair, so that they're still utilizing her, so that she's still involved. Does that change the way you see it? They can't be a payoff match with her and Charlotte. You know, God damn it, you had my dad's kid. You had my sister, and I'm going to get you. You know, there's none of that for a long time. But if they could still use her. It's a fucking year till she can take a bump, though. So then Charlotte just looks like a fucking plate full of piss. What if What's she brings she in? A, what if she brings in a nanny to the? <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby's nanny, and what she's gonna May get French you. Doing? <laughs> What's Stella May French doing? <laughs> she's probably at a truck stop. If if we could find Stella May French, she could come in as the nanny. This could work. You have see, Brian. There you go. You've just beat around the bush and written a better angle than the WWE brain trust. Uh, you know, it wasn't that way in the old days. 